One director's infuriating decision led to a lasting artistic partnership. I'm The Classical Nerd, and this is the story behind the music of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Stanley Kubrick is rightly regarded as one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, and his attention to detail cannot be overstated. He wanted to create a great mythic science fiction film, so he contacted author Arthur C. Clarke and pitched him an idea. They liked it so much that they started reworking Clarke's old short story, The Sentinel, into a story that would become pretty much simultaneously novel and film. The relationship between author and filmmaker is certainly interesting, but I am not the cinema nerd, I'm the classical nerd, so let's get on with the music. Anyone who has seen 2001 knows that classical music plays a huge role, but all in all, there's just not a whole lot of it. It's just sort of dropped in at important moments, and most of it's silence. This is quite unusual for any film. Kubrick decided on some pieces he liked that fit the nature of the scenes, and he simply dropped them in. The music of 2001 is actually the temp track, which is the temporary track that a director gives a film score, and then they go on and do their thing. Its sole purpose is to give film scores an idea of what the director's after. The pieces that made it in included some contemporary compositions from the then-living Hungarian composer Georgi Ligeti. This was then given to the composer, a man named Alex North, who went along and did what he was contracted to do. And he ended up writing music that was, in fact, very similar to the temp track, but, you know, really wasn't the same. And since it wasn't the same, Kubrick, eh, he didn't really like it. Well, at least he didn't think it really fit the film as much as the temp track did. I mean, as good as Alex North's score was, it couldn't stand up to the likes of Richard Strauss and Georgie Ligeti. At the last possible moment, right before the film was about to be shipped to cinemas, Kubrick decided to take out Alex North's score and put the temp track back in. Kubrick, by doing this, made two big mistakes. First, he actually failed to tell North uh, that he didn't use his music. So when North showed up at the premiere, all happy to be there, he was equal parts uh, unnerved and uh, embarrassed. Not to mention quite insulted. Second, Kubrick really never secured the copyright to Ligeti's music. It was never intended to be distributed, but since it was distributed, Ligeti sued Kubrick for copyright infringement. Kubrick and Ligeti ended up settling out of court for a mutually beneficial agreement. Ligeti got a cut of the proceeds from 2001 Space Odyssey, but Kubrick got the rights to use any Ligeti piece in any future film, which he did so to great effect right up until his last film, Eyes Wide Shut, which uses the eerie second movement of the early piano piece, Musica Ricercata. The moral of the story, then, for directors is twofold. One, always tell your composer if you're going to stab him in the back. And two, always secure copyright. Copyright.